Hey, it's really starting to get a little hot out there now. We're getting our first dose of really scorching hot days in New York. I know California out there, you're supposed to be getting your June gloom now in San Francisco, and it's been just like the hottest of hot, scorching summer days. Do you need a hat? What's the deal? I've been thinking about it. I don't know. Am I going to look like an idiot? Am I going to look cool? Is there a way to do this? Is it important? Should I get it? How can you not afford to get a hat? That's what I'm going to tell you right now. You should get a hat. Don't be cavalier about your health. This is something that's very, very important. I'm going to show you exactly why you can not afford to be without a summer hat this summer. And uh, generally, I don't do any kind of planning. My um, MO is basically, I don't plan things. So when I pick up my guitar, I don't even know what I'm going to play. It just, I hit a chord, I hit another chord, and it takes me somewhere. Uh, when I start these hat lectures, generally I'll start with a title. Um, I'll start with a title, and then, you know, as I'm eating my breakfast or whatever, drinking my coffee, I might think about like one or two points I'll include. Sometimes, a lot of times, I really I start this with a blank slate. Today, I um, I did something a little bit different. I consulted an expert. Okay, um, today we're going to be doing some um, some good hard facts. We're going to talk about why you need a straw hat. Um, a lot of you have been prescribed straw hats from your doctor. They said, okay, you have this thing on your head that we just cut off, and uh, melanoma or whatever and uh, don't mess around you need to get yourself a, a hat that's not transparent with a decent brim okay there's a lot of other people out there you know that should be wearing that but eh, you haven't taken the plunge and you're basically what I'm saying now is we if we're not covering up in the sun we are being cavalier we're being hey don't worry about it I'm cool you know about our health you know and the truth is, um, health is all we got. All you got is your health, you know what I'm saying? All right, and I did actually consult a, an expert today. I wanted to speak to somebody who is, you know, in the field of uh, martial arts, and he knows a lot about uh, physiology and the body and this and that. And um, I, consult, I consulted somebody in Germany, actually, and uh, I have a few points like bullet points written down here and not exactly like you know a speech just like you know one two three you know things like that little points and uh i'm gonna uh this guy here he's awesome is he? dude is awesome um he's uh my trained uh, expert guy okay I give him a you know doggy biscuit and he jumps and he gives me all the facts and stuff all right so here's what he says um, about you know why it's important to wear this stuff. That basically from the sun, there's two types of very harmful rays. You know about UV rays, ultraviolet, um, ultraviolet rays, and infrared. Those are two spectrum. You know, two. We can't really see the ultraviolet most of it in the infrared uh, with the naked eye, and uh, a lot of it is super harmful and stuff. Um, I don't know. A lot about it but um, I did find out some reasons why they're harmful and it's it's interesting it's not as uh, obvious as you'd think okay let's get into some of these points here okay the Sun's got those different rays I told you about the UV and the uh, infrared IR rays okay now if you're not wearing a hat the ultra the ultraviolet rays could get cancer on your head your face your neck um, Basically, you know, anything that's exposed, you could get skin cancers and stuff, and it's, sadly, it, it's not uncommon. Um, I'm in the business a quarter of a century, and I get a lot of people coming in um, that say, you know, they're in treatment, or, you know, some of them are not that serious. They just had a little something cut off of their head, and, you know, that's it, and they're staying away from the sun, and they're covering up other people, or... They're, you know, in chemo and they want to cover up and hair loss and stuff. But I do get a lot of people uh, who get various degrees of, um, of cancer, some from sun, some from not. Not from sun, but um, we know about that, that the head, the neck, and the face, um, the ultraviolet heats up your brain and your brain can get edema, okay? That is another thing, too. The infrared rays pass um, through the skin, the head, and bone. 
and um, directly heat up the meninges, meningitis, the arteries which support the brain, okay, which are, <laughs> which are all going through the neck. So you need shade on the neck because otherwise the blood heats up. Um, it causes what the brain brain will get swollen, edema and stuff. So they're basically saying you've got to cover up the neck to the face, the head, not just like the front, like a baseball cap. You need the whole area covered up. The neck to there's a very important uh, physiolog physiological reasons why you should uh, you know, keep them exposed. All right. Let's see what else uh, my friend wrote here. He said, if you don't wear a hat, the UV rays can make cancer in the head, face, and neck. We said that the UV heats up your brain, edema, scoopy dooby dooby. We said that part. Okay. Our lips and ears are natural cooling systems. I knew about that. So they need shade to ears, lips. That's uh, a way of the body cooling itself. And um, again, baseball hat doesn't cover the ears. You can get serious burns there too. Um, Ah, he said the baseball cap, yeah, it doesn't go all the way around. Um, it could also protect against cancer, against heat stroke, and sunstroke. All three of them are life-threatening. Um, okay, he's gone on and uh, quoted a bunch of stuff, basically, yeah, talking about each one of these things. Heat stroke, cancer, sunstroke, and, uh, okay, that's, that's enough. Thank you very much, uh, Tomas. Those. There's also something else you could do. You guys know about this stuff? Ah, oh, it's so good. I'm telling you. I'm living on these things. Uh, watermelon flavor and the lime flavor. It's like frozen, like pure fruit. So it's just like eating an icy piece of watermelon or, or like a ice cold margarita when you're doing the lime. Uh, watermelon puree, water, cane sugar, beet juice for color, natural flavor, guar gum, vitamin C. That's it. Um, hmm. This stuff is the best, let me tell you. That'll keep you cool too. If you don't know about it, thank me later. Um, I always have like at least two boxes of those things in the fridge. Um, now, keeping the body temperature, body temperature down is important. Um, you could get a variety of other things too. Um, you could become faint. Um, I got the word for that when you're not getting enough oxygen for your brain, to your brain, um, you're getting, got the word for being faint, I don't know. But anyway, um, there's a, a word that doctors say and stuff. And um, when there's not enough, you know, um, oxygen going up there, you start to get lightheaded and you pass out. So you gotta drink a lot of water during the summer or even during now, the sort of early part of the summer, stay hydrated and cover up. Um, oh, what do you call that faint? To, to feel faint is to be, I mean, okay, I should edit this out, but I'm not gonna keep the mistakes in, baby. All right, um, so if you are um, covering up essentially you are gonna feel better. Yeah, the idea is to wear something that's not too heavy. Um, you don't wanna wear something that's gonna be really dark colors unless it's absolutely necessary for maybe religious reasons or something like that. Um, I'm gonna say lighter colors definitely feel a lot cooler. Um, Try to get a brim that at least goes out past your ears. I would say not to your ears, a good amount past your ears too. Um, that's important. And um, try to get something that doesn't weigh a ton. There are some straw hats, you drop them and it's just like thud. Get something fairly light. Panama is one type of straw. It's one of the higher end straws. They start at about $110, $125 and they go up. Um, it's not the only straw. There's all kinds of straws that are cheaper um, by Stetson. Stetson makes like really soft, lightweight things out of palm even. There's heavy palms, there's light palms. There's all kinds of things. Coconut straws, raffia, crushable raffias, seagrass, and every single one of them are way, way cheaper than Panama because they're not hand-woven. Um, you don't have to spend a bundle. 
you could get something that's uh, just, you know, covers you up, like, for instance, this hat here. This is a Midori. Okay. This one is good enough for me. Now, if you've had any issues with the sun before, you want to probably hold this up to the light. Take a look of how much light's going through there. All those pinholes are NG, no good. Doctor will probably say that's no good if you've had any kind of issues. Now, for most of us, it'd probably be okay. It'll keep, you know, you could see this thing shading me. Um, I could put this in my pocket. It's a really cool hat. And uh, I'm going to say, if you have had any issues with your skin, make sure there's not lots and lots of holes showing through. Little pinholes, you're going to see something, but you don't want a lot of that. You can also put a lining inside here. Right in the, in the crown, you could put a, a simple lining, which is generally like $10 or something. It's not hard to do. You can even just take a little circle of a bandana and just stick it in there, you know. Um, you could put a dab of hot glue in there, or you could sew the corners in, make your own little lining, but um, it's not a big deal. You know? Okay, so there are another, uh, a number of other reasons, uh, I think, why you, you need and um, shouldn't mess around, and definitely should get a straw hat, other than obvious health reasons, you know, like the health reasons, it's sort of like, yeah, you know, nothing... Nothing trumps health, you know, that's like health. Um, health is always like number one, you know, you don't have your health, you're not even here, you know. So, um, it's like, it's like this. If you're wearing hats, there are functional hats and there are fashionable hats. I feel that um, a lot of people are going to wear hats for functionality to cover up. Other people are going to wear it simply because they look cool and, you know, they don't really care too much about covering up. Other people, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. It's going to be, uh, they want to cover up and they also want to cover up with something that looks cool, you know. They don't want to buy something garbage, you know, like minimum. They want a little style, something that'll look decent. And, um, I'm going to say the issue with going felt hats versus straw hats is not only a functional um, argument, it's also a visual thing too. Um, for me, when I see, you know, like a crowd full of people with straws and I see one guy with a, a felt hat, it does look out of place um, to me. You know, there's always people from that camp who are going to say, like, you know, who cares? But, um, yeah, you know, if you're trying to look um, presentable, um, you know, like you've got a, a business-like kind of look, let's say, or you're going for an interview, you don't want to show up to a um, one of those kind of situations with the wrong kind of hat. Like, you know, in June or July when it's beating down sun, if you come in with a felt hat, you may think you're the coolest guy because you're into hats and you're wearing hats. Like, yeah, I gotta show off my hat if I'm going there. But, you know, they may, they'll they look at you and be like, look at this idiot, he's wearing a felt hat on his street. So, um, yeah, don't think you're gonna impress somebody by wearing your hat um, to a hat job or to a regular job if it's a felt hat in summer, because, um, yeah, I think it's improper, basically. So, what I'm basically getting at, I don't know. But uh, I think that there are various reasons why you should wear straws versus felt. If you have a felt hat and you're okay with it, that's good. That's good. If you're um, looking to buy something and you're wondering which way to go, I would say definitely go straw, cotton, linen, something summery in the summer. A winter fabric is not going to feel good and you will definitely be sweaty. And the hat is destined to probably get sweat stained too. So yeah, that's not going to look good. Um, visually, you're going to be the guy wearing the winter clothes in summer and also the guy with the sweat stains. So better to wear like, you know, a $2 cotton baseball hat that's not stained and that's not going to make you sweat and you'll be comfortable than the wrong felt hat is what I'm getting at. All right, so that's about it. We're going to keep it very short today. What I did want to talk about is a few of those um, medical things and um, thank you uh, 
resident expert in Germany for helping me with those. And um, stay away from those UV and IRs and stuff. But, you know, get a little. It's not that bad. Okay, we'll see you guys soon. Heaven from JJ has entered.